Hi everyone. Okay, so today I want to open up a little bit about um, starting your own business and all the um, hardship that you might find and then give you some advice. Actually, it's recent found advice. Um, uh, I studied it at, uh, at business school, but I never... Uh, implemented it and actually now I know why I studied it okay so um, as you know as you've known for those who know me I'm a bit of a workaholic um, I would spend hours trying to finish one project at a time and I would sometimes like go for um, three days without with only three hours of sleep or something like that now in business school, you learn that you actually have to prioritize your time. Oh, well, that's something you learn from, let's say, kindergarten. Um, where you actually have that set of time that you do this and that set of time that you do something else. And I neglected that. Meaning, what happened to my business. Now I'm telling you what happened to my business so that you don't make the same mistake. Okay. So I was working on a project, overworking myself up to the point where my computer actually crashed. My computer was telling me that's it, that's enough, I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> and then, only then I realized I was actually burnt out. That's why my project didn't come out as good and as wonderful and as professional as it should have come out. Um, I have to admit that I sort of, not sort of, I almost lost a client because of this. Okay, so be careful of burnout. You have to put yourself in a schedule. Say you work from 8 to 5 and that's it. After 5, you put your phone off. No business after 5. Okay, yes, you can work over weekends, but keep it to half days. Why I'm saying this is most of us, like me, have a family and have a responsibility. And then when you're working all that hours, getting no sleep, you first of all, you get grumpy and the poor kids. Okay, I'm just going to say that. And then um, you start neglecting small stuff like, I don't have time for washing right now, I'll do it later. And then tomorrow when you don't have a clean shirt to wear, you're like, don't look your best and you don't feel your best and then you don't have time to blow your hair or do your makeup or um, spend time with the kids and later when the computer crash you find yourself in a situation where you have so many other stuff to do and it feels so overwhelming and you try you, you struggle to get back on again like get everything in place again, get all your admin in place again, get your house in place again, uh, get yourself in place again. And, and that caused you to lose money because now you're spending time, first just wasted time, okay, because you were tired and you were working very long hours Everybody in business say, work, 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 push, 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 but don't push yourself to death. Nobody can build an empire on broken bricks, okay? So don't break your bricks, okay? Um, don't make the, the load too heavy, okay? So first you, you waste time with your work, uh, but it's not up to standard because you are working long hours, not sleeping, uh, feeling not good about yourself, and that in that in um, is shown in your work. Okay, then you you actually have to do damage control. That's what I was looking for. The damage control part. So now you're wasting time. You think you're saving time and you're working your best, but you're wasting time because now you have to do damage control on doing something wrong because you were tired and stuff that you neglected. And then it's like a snowball effect and it becomes more and it becomes more until you come to a stop, a complete stop, and you start prioritizing again. Now, consistency doesn't mean working 24 hours a day, every day, 
because nobody can do that that's not how we are made to be okay consistency means doing your best every day in the time that is set apart for it um, I, I'm thinking of a saying that my mom used to say always to me there's a time and a place for everything well I thought that only implies to work and you always have to work 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 because there's only time for work but if you don't let yourself relax you're gonna have a burnout and having a burnout as a business owner is devastating to your business because let's say you have a burnout now you take about a week two weeks three weeks to get yourself reorganized again getting the washing up to date helping the kids with the um, school tasks that they've missed because you didn't pay attention um, having to to go to the hair salon to fix the mess you made because you didn't worry about blowing it or or conditioning it or whatever um, that's just personal small nitty-gritty stuff you have to clean your house uh, because the dust is like that big on your house and you wonder why you're always sneezing and having flu because your environment is dirty okay so now you feel sick as well so be what I want to say is um, actually in this video point get a schedule and stick to it because if you don't something is going to be left behind well to all the entrepreneurs out there good luck have a great day and may successful follow you always